Hey, this is Good Names, and welcome to the first video on how to make an automatic catapult in Medieval Engineers. So, the basic construction of a catapult is one base structure, one spring to lower to add potential energy to the arm, an arm, and a nice pulling mechanism, which would then pull the arm down, release the string, and it would go flying up. So, in an automatic catapult, you don't want someone standing around reconnecting strings and so on. So what you need to find out is a way to allow this arm to go forward, to fly forward, without being restricted by said pulley mechanism. So this is purely working off of mechanical stuff, no pulleys or rope in Space Engineers yet. So basic construction, took it, changed colors, took it, made an actual arm that will be working, Scrapped that idea and then went on to show off what a winch is. So a winch is a construction that only allows rotation in one direction of a gear or a shaft. So medieval engineers will have these in it, catapults run off of them so that their arm doesn't go flying forward when you don't intend it to, and other constructions. So this catapult runs off of the concept that a winch allows a gear to rotate in one constant direction, now replacing the spring or the tension wire with these gravity cubes, once they get to the apex, they'll fall over with their own gravitational mass, thus overloading the winch and spinning in that said direction without any resistance or near none. Now that we didn't cut any ropes, we can keep revolving in that same direction, reload, load up another boulder, and fire the catapult again. So I'll be going into more of the workings on how to load this up with boulders and how to stop it and change the aim of it, because catapults, frankly, are not meant to be aimed. So, challenges are to ex be expected. So, that's about it, and I'll see you in the next one.